Want to create ebooks like this and start earning money? You're in the right place. In this video, I'll show you step by step how to design and publish your own ebook, even if you're a complete beginner. Let's turn your creativity into income. To create your own ebook, the first thing you need is content. For that, I went to ChatGPT and typed, I want to make an ebook on the importance of AI. Please provide me the content. You can also choose your own topic based on what you're interested in or what your audience might like. Once the content is generated, the next step is to go to Canva. In the search bar, type ebook and you'll see a variety of ready made templates. You can either use any of these templates or start from scratch if you want a more customized design. I chose a template that matched the theme of my book. Now let's begin designing. Start with the cover page. For cover ideas, I once again used ChatGPT to get a creative and relevant concept. I simply copied and pasted the suggested title and subtitle into the template. To add visuals, go to the Elements section on Canva, search for a related image or illustration and insert it into your design. Next, move on to the second page, which is the Table of Contents. Again, I used ChatGPT to generate a list of contents, copied that, and pasted it directly into the ebook. Adjust the layout to make sure everything is aligned and looks good. Now it's time for the introduction page, which is usually the third page. Use the same process, generate the content with ChatGPT, copy it, paste it in Canva, and adjust the formatting. Continue this process for all the following pages. Simply duplicate pages, paste new content, and make design adjustments as needed.
when it comes to choosing the right fonts, if you're unsure which font to use, you can ask ChatGPT, suggest some good fonts for my ebook. Based on the suggestions, go back to Canva and apply those fonts to your headings and body text to give your ebook a consistent and professional look. To make your ebook more creative and visually appealing, you can add doodles, icons, or images. Just go to the Elements tab, search for what you need, and place them on your page. Reduce their transparency to blend them into the background without overpowering the text. Once your ebook is fully designed and you're happy with the layout and content, go to the share button at the top right, click on download, select PDF print and make sure to choose CMYK color mode for high quality professional printing. Now it's time to publish your book. First go to kdp.amazon.com and sign in with your Amazon account. Click on create and then select create paperback. You'll now be directed to fill in your book details. Start by selecting the language of your book, then enter your book title. If your book is part of a series or has an edition number, you can enter that information too, though it's optional. Next, fill in your author name, then add the description of your book. For this part, I use ChatGPT to create an engaging and professional description that attracts readers. After that, select your publishing rights. Move on to the primary audience section where you'll specify who your book is meant for, for example, general readers, teens or adults. Then choose the categories that best match the content and theme of your book. This helps Amazon show your book to the right audience. You'll also need to enter seven keywords to improve your book's discoverability on Amazon. For this part as well, I use ChatGPT to generate relevant and targeted keywords. Once all the details are filled in, click on Save and Continue. In the next section, you'll be asked to select the print settings of your book. Choose the print type, black and white or colour, paper type and book size. After that, upload your book manuscript in PDF format and your cover file. 
If you don't have a cover, you can use the built-in KDP Cover Creator. If your book contains any AI-generated content, select Yes. If not, choose No. book using the print previewer to ensure everything is formatted correctly. Once you're happy with how it looks, click on save and continue. Finally, you'll need to set your pricing and distribution. After reviewing everything, click on publish your paperback book. And that's it, your ebook is ready. Here's the final result of our beautiful ebook. <laughs> Press the bell icon on the YouTube app and never miss another update.